Hi, it's Kia. And welcome to me. A human. Yes, totally not an alien. Right. But for real now. Welcome. Man, if that's your first video of me, I'm sorry. So today, I will turn this snow girl into a totally human looking girl. First, I removed her hair and the initial face paint. I cut the back of her head off to really get into that mess of a glue that was inside of the head. It was disturbing. Yeah, squeeze that right in there. Will not work. Yeah, I told you. Had to use my hair dryer to get the head softer. Isn't her head slightly smaller than in usual Abby doll? I compared and she indeed is smaller. No idea how that happened. Yes, that's a cut open head. Why am I pointing at it? Since I only removed the headpiece to get the glue out to prevent any kind of future yellowing of the skin by the glue, I'm gluing the two heads back together. Glue, glue, glue. I'm bad at planning doll faces. Wait, don't look at my super secret gallery that is full of super secret pictures. Of Fire Emblem and Berserk. <laughs> So I sketch out how I want her face to look. I want to go for a realistic look, smaller human proportioned eyes and more face in general. Am I happy with the sketch? No. So watch me change almost everything once I actually start the painting. I usually, like in my paintings, start with the eyebrows and then go over to the eyes. I'm really sorry for my hair popping in and out of existence on this side. I haven't figured out a way how to completely avoid this. My hair just repels off my head. You don't know how much footage I had to cut out because of this problem. <laughs> Here, how I avoid drawing the other eye and instead start on the lips. Yeah, had to cut those four tries getting the left eye right. Oh, but I already like it that way. Even if it's just the first layer. First layer, but I already start to lay the whites. Next step, I go in with a slightly darker brown to define those smaller details. I think it's time to explain the weird intro from before. In the back of the head, while creating this doll, she was some kind of visitor. But not some ordinary kind of visitor. She's a visitor from outer space and to not gain any suspicion while on vacation here on Earth, she disguised herself as a human. Well, she didn't do a very good job because she is still blue. To make our visitor even more human, I start shading her face with pastels. Mm -hmm. 
vest layer complete. To distract from her alien claws, I give her a nice and clean manicure. There are women with long and pointy gel nails and now she's one of them. I go one shade darker and start working out the smaller details of her eyes like the lash line and her eyebrows. Do you see this frame? I actually made her to say later, but that exact frame is why I couldn't do it. And now begins the fun part. I decided since she's more on the realistic side, that I wanted to draw her skin blemishes and a more realistic skin texture. I drew them Bye, oh my god, I can't write, oh my god. What's grandma? I don't know her. I never had a grandma. I drew them by lightly dipping my smallest brush into brown watercolor paint. Since the paint dries lighter, you just can add and add and add more texture. Um, what's this footage? How did you get here? Oh wait, I know, don't look, it's for the next project. So back to the alien girl. I mean, of course, the human girl. I start to go on with the darkest brown I have and it's weirdly not in focus. I go in and draw all the smallest and most delicate details like the lower lashes and the iris. And of course, how it's normal in Dory painting, I have to keep adding the color white in 5 million layers. Time for the most delicate thing, the white dots. I redid the left one like three times. Ah, look at her. I love her.
For the very last part of the face, I gloss her eyes to make her seem more alive. Once dried, it will give a very realistic eye reflection. On to the last part of the doll herself, the hair. I'm unsure what kind of fabric I'm actually using for her. I bought it in a big bag of many different colors. It's almost like acrylic wool, but already detangled. I start from the back and work myself in a ring to the top of her head. I find these stages of hair gluing especially fun because they look like they are joining a monastery. manage her hair I tried to flatten it with a curling iron. However, the iron was too hot for the fabric and would burn it on the touch. So I turned it on and off to let it cool down until it wouldn't burn the hair off. After that I combed the hair thoroughly and shortened it quite a bit by doing that. I always keep the excess, it could be later used as stuffing or something else. Hoarding is a good thing. I was not going anywhere by cutting it like that, so let's just cut it all off. And here she is. The totally human and not in any way alien girl. I'm still on the fence for a name for her. I usually keep my working names for them like Alien Girl or The Visitor. But if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. Write as many suggestions as you want. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you all for watching. Ciao ciao!